We start in the Pakistani city of Peshawar, where an attack on a mosque has killed at least 44 people and injured more than 150 others. The Prime Minister, Shehbaz Sharif, has suggested a suicide bomber is responsible for the blast. Well, people are reported to be buried under the rubble. Peshawar sits close to Pakistan's border with Afghanistan and has been the scene of some of the country's worst attacks in recent years. Well, in these dramatic pictures, you can see people crawling out of the rubble after the blast. Well, earlier, I spoke to Mushtaq Yousafzai, who's a journalist based in Peshawar. He shared what he had discovered about the attack. The suicide bomber had managed to, inside, to enter that uh, highly guarded uh, police line, which is, uh, you can say, the home of Khabar uh, Pakhtunkhwa police. And uh, one has to cross at least three checkpoints to enter that well-secured area. And then it was uh, Zohar prayer time, so he managed to go to uh, that mosque where mostly the policemen and local people and the same compound go to the same mosque because it is the only mosque in that area. And he was, according to the police authorities, standing in the first row and blew himself up at the moment the prayer started. And so far, uh, the authorities of the uh, Ladering Hospital, Peshawar, they had received most of the victims confirm that one uh, 47 people are still with them and 32 people they have confirmed died in this attack. Mm. And uh, just give us an idea of uh, this mosque, where it was situated and why it was so important. Yes, I mentioned uh, it's uh, located in a very safe location inside the police lines and there are so many offices of the police officers in that area. And uh, one is quite uh, properly body search uh, before uh, access to that area. And uh, they're the only mask in that area. And most of the police men usually go to this mask. And uh, obviously, uh, they, you know, it will uh, determine after investigation. But uh, the police thought he suspect that someone from inside uh, the compound might have a sister, a side member, because uh, as I mentioned, everybody is properly body searched. The address, the identity card is uh, uh, mentioned and properly registered uh, by the policemen uh, at the entrance of the same uh, compound. We can go live now to Lahore and speak to Tarhub Asghar from BBC Urdu, who's there for us. And we have seen, haven't we, Tarhub, in the last few minutes that the number of those who have died uh, as a result of this attack has risen to 44 now. Yes, it has increased. According to hospital officials, they just announced that the number of casualty increases to 44. And not only this, injured people number is also increased and it has reached to 157. So the news is still developing. Uh, reports are coming in. Rescue operation is still going on. They're trying to rescue people who are still under the rubble uh, because it's a huge intensity blast. And when it happened, uh, the roof of the mosque collapsed. So uh, luckily, uh, rescue official said that we have uh, successfully uh, took out two people alive but unfortunately they have also taken out six dead bodies uh, from under the rubble uh, they are saying that we are carrying out operation very carefully because there might be more people who are stuck under the rubbles mm. and we've been listening haven't we to uh, a local journalist about what people are saying uh, about the reasons behind this attack important to underline the fact that Peshawar has been subject to uh, terrorist attacks in the past, hasn't it? Yes, uh, and not only this, these warnings are from officials because there is a wave of a, wave of a new terrorist activities that are being held by different terrorist groups uh, in different areas of KPK and Balochistan. So there are warnings. Uh, there were warnings issued in the past and there are still uh, warnings and um, few other cities are on high alert. So this is one of the huge blasts that happened and uh, not officially uh, from the TTP. But yes, o over social media, we have been seeing the people from TTP. They're saying that uh, this is uh, the blast that we have carried out. So uh, unofficially, people from their group is taking responsibility. They have also issued picture of a suicide bomber uh, saying that these uh, this this blast is basically a, a series of blasts that we have been carrying out uh, as a revenge of the incident in which the, one of their leader, Khalid Khurasani, got killed. So uh, these are the unofficial claims that are being circulated on social media by the TTP, but there is no official responsibility taken by them. 
Tarhope, thank you very much for that update.